Hello and welcome to Doctor Who DVD review number five. This one is on Doctor Who The Key to Time box set, um, which is a series story arc. It encompassed the entire series 16 of Doctor Who, which was first broadcast in the UK between the 2nd of September 1978 and the 24th of February 1979 and features Tom Baker as the Doctor. Um, it also features introduces a new companion, Mary Tam, as the first incarnation of Rimana, a Time Lady sent by the Time Lords to help and aid the Doctor as his new assistant. The character itself um, coming at the beginning of obviously the empowerment of female characters on television and I think that's what drew Mary Tam to the role was the fact that she was going to be an equal to the Doctor and somebody, his intellectual equal and somebody who wasn't just going to be a damsel in distress getting into situations and screaming for the Doctor to come and re rescue her. Um, I think the character, it was clear from the middle of the series that the character hadn't particularly progressed in that way which I think was why Mary Tam decided to call it a day because um, you'll see, especially in episodes like the, the including in the Power of Kroll, um, she does some pretty stupid things and she does get herself into the, the the scrapes that you would expect a very clever time lady like Romana not to do and she did become that damsel in distress character so I can see why Mary Tam would probably decide to to, to call it a day. Um, as I said it, it, is a, it is a loose story arc covering the series the key to time which is that big pink thing in the middle of the box between um, Romana and the Doctor on the front cover and each each serial involved in this does have its own story, and it can stand alone as a Doctor Who adventure on its own. But in it and around it is this loose story arc where, in each destination, there is a key to time, a segment of the key to time, which the White Guardian has um, commissioned the Doctor and Romana to find and uh, join together. There's six pieces all in all, and each uh, serial is the search for each one and the adventure they find while searching for it. Um, it's a, an updated idea, really, because back in 1964, William Hartnell's Doctor uh, had a six-part serial called The Keys to Marinus, where each episode was searching for part of The Key to Marinus. And um, I think it worked so well, I don't know why it took so long, you know, nearly 15, 16 years to actually bring back uh, the uh, same idea, um, but it, this one's covered over a season rather than just six weekly episodes. This actually goes on for 26 weeks um, to combine them. Now, it's a lovely box set. It's a seven-disc set. It's a PG. Um, looking on there, you can see the, uh, the six uh, different... Uh, storylines involved in this, the Rebos Operation, the Pirate Planet, the Stones of Blood, the Androids of Tower, the Power of Kroll, and the Armageddon Factor. Um, if, on the back, it's the uh, same pattern as on the front, and on the, on the spine as well, no different there. But it's a lovely, lovely purplish blocks, uh, box that m makes this very nice on your DVD shelf. Right, so if we can just open up for a second... Let's go to the first one, the Reboss Operation. Now, um, whereas on the front of the main box, if you remember, there's the completed key to time there. Um, on each episode, on each different serial, there is the single piece of the key to time that they find in that particular episode. And also, what makes these unique as well, is they have a lovely sticker on there showing that it's the key, it's part of the key to time storyline and it's story number one there. Um... Again, a wealth of special features. I'm not going to go on too much about the special features in this particular review. With six DVDs to go through, you'll end up with a review longer than the season itself. Um, but again, brilliant, uh, brilliant special features. Um, again, the next episode, the pirate planet with the second key to time and, and the sticker there. Uh, wonderful special features, as always. Um, the Stones of Blood, lovely artwork on the front there. The Androids of Tara. This one deserves special mention from me because I do think it is the jewel in the crown. I think it's the best story of the Key to Time uh, box set. Uh, those that love classic literature and, and, of course, classic Hollywood movies will know the story of The Prisoner of Zender, where a king is kidnapped and a double 
has to take its place. And this is just updated slightly with um, androids who are the double and the doctor being involved in the deception to try and uh, convince people that the king has not been kidnapped, while at the same time trying to rescue the correct king himself. Um, so it's it's pretty much the Doctor Who does the Prisoner of Zender, and it's one of the best stories in the box set. Um, and that's story four. Again, a wonderful special features on there. Now, from the best, we come to, unfortunately, what I consider to be the weakest. Uh, a lot of Who fans will probably disagree with me, but I, I do consider The Power of Quell to be the weakest um, disc in this section, uh, this selection. Um, uh, just didn't warm to this serial at all. I'm not I'm probably just a, a question of personal taste, and some of you Who fans out there will probably love this. Um, so I don't want to put you off with, with what I think of it, but I just consider this to be the weak link in the chain, but it's still wonderfully packaged and some wonderful special features on there as well. And the final uh, episode, the final serial in the box set is the Armageddon Factor sto Story 6. This is a, this is a two-disc set, um, and... It needs to point out that it is Mary Tam's final adventure with the Doctor and Lala Ward's first. Obviously, Lala Ward in Series 17 goes on to play Romana Mark II when Romana regenerates, even though a regeneration film was never was never shot, um, a regeneration scene was never shot. Uh, Lala plays a different character in this adventure, but it is on that character that the newly regenerated Romana chooses to base her appearance. So it's Mary Tam's last adventure and Lala Ward's first. Uh, again, lovely special features on there. Now, what's fair to point out is this, out of all the Doctor Who DVD classic range, is probably the best value for money. Um, you get box sets where you get two in, you get three in, you get four in, but this is without doubt the most value for money because for not much more money I think it is slightly more expensive but not by much you get six classic adventures and hours of special features so if you're looking to start a Doctor Who classic DVD collection this is a great place to start because you are you are for a very small amount of money starting your collection with a good bulk and an entire season of Doctor Who and played by you know everyone's favourite Doctor of the classic era uh, Tom Baker um, so it's well worth the money. Do a Google search, uh, try and find the cheapest price you can get for it. And if you've enjoyed this review, please um, comment and like and subscribe so you can get further updates. So um, that's Doctor Who DVD review number five. And I look forward to seeing you all soon with Doctor Who DVD review number six. Thank you. <laughs>